basics of the simulation and some of the terms that we use to talk about waves here. So I have this set up as our worksheet suggests. I've taken it from manual to oscillate. I've taken it from fixed end to no end. I've set the amplitude to 0.5 centimeters, the frequency to 1.5 centimeters. I've turned damping to none. Tension is high. I've turned on the rulers. I've turned on the timer. Here are the rulers. Here's the timer. I've also set it to slow motion for myself because it's just easier to record starts and finishes and sort of watch everything happen in slow motion. It's up to you if you want to do it in slow motion or normal. Um, of course, it's paused right now. Um, so I can, I can draw on here. I can write on here a little bit and define some terms. A big one and a frequent one you'll hear when it comes to waves clearly is wavelength, which would be a measure of how long the wave is. Makes sense. Um, basically, how long it takes the wave to repeat itself again. A common and easy place to, or way to uh, picture that is from the top of the wave right here. Oops, it's not the tool I wanted. Um, let's try it again. From, let's see if that worked. From the top of the wave over to the next top of a wave. Let's see if I can write this thing. Wave, oops, wave, oh. Yeah, there we go. Wavelength. Nice. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, we seem to have a wavelength of about 4.2 centimeters. Notice this ruler is not divided up in very convenient ways. It's got 3, 3.2, 3.4, 3 3.6, 4, 4.2, and so on. It doesn't go to 3 and 3.5, which would be a normal way to mark out a ruler. Anyway, there's wavelength from peak to peak, or what we call, let's do this. Hey, it drew an arrow for me, that's cool. This is the crest. I don't know how many of you can read cursive. It's a long T, eh, there we go, crest. Um, and the opposite of the crest, that weird looking word, trough. It didn't give me an arrow that time. Or T R O U G H. Ooh, cross my T. Trough. That's the bottom of the wave. Uh, let's see, another word we use is amplitude. That describes how tall the wave is. Now notice, oh, I should have moved my ruler up. This ruler, we're at about 2.6, we got 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. It doesn't seem quite right. This should be, uh, it's to the middle of these balls, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, about 0.5 to the middle of the ball, which is our amplitude. It is from the center of the wave, sort of where the wave would be if there were no wave, or where the chord would be if there were no wave, to how far it's gone up. It gave me an arrow that time. That is called amplitude. And put in a dot for my I and cross my T. Amplitude. Man, writing cursive with your finger is not easy. 
So these are the basic terms for a wave. Wavelength, amplitude, trough, crest. Um, there are some other things that they wanted us to mark on here. I'm going to get rid of all the marks I just made. Um, if I can. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now, I'm actually going to pause. I'm going to go to the actual. No, I can't do that. Um, okay, well, we had two terms, direction of propagation and direction of oscillation. This time I'll, I'll add a text box. Nope, that's not a text box. Oh, there's my text boxes. Too many text boxes. There we go. So... Direction of propagation. Let's make that a little bigger if I can. And yeah, there we go. And let's not make it red. Let's make it blue. All right. Direction of propagation. Propagation is sort of where the wave is going, I guess would be a way to put it. Direction of propagation is where the wave's headed. We had to come up with some crazy term, propagation, to talk about that, because, you know, science. So, if we were running the simulation, we would find that our direction of propagation was from left to right. The wave starts over here, travels across the screen toward the right, and out the window. The other term we used was read my thing. There we go. Um, it's the term direction of oscillation. The direction of oscillation is where the wave is going oscillating is this movement up and down. So our direction of oscillation would be this direction and that direction. Both. Whoa, that's fun. Not what I wanted it to do though. I wanted it to be able to do there we go. Direction of oscillation is up and down because the wave is being generated up and down and then it's propagating along from left to right. Uh, what was another term we used was, um, oh, let's see. We use wavelength, amplitude, crest, trough, direction of uh, oscillation, direction of wave propagation. And you'll notice I just jumped back into a screenshot of my uh, worksheet. And here are these terms put in here. You can check the key and see this picture as well. It's maybe easier to deal with. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to say done with this video.